Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome to our service tonight. Uh, this is St Thomas at Home, and this is the evening prayers for Wednesday. Glad you're with us, and we're gonna. If you've not been with us before, we're gonna have some times of silence, uh, some times of prayer, and some music, and of course, Bible verses. You might want to. Oops, sorry. <laughs> camera gone slightly wobbly there uh, you might want to light a candle or have some music playing totally up to you but we're going to start with just some silence as we reflect on the day that we've had so let's just do that now the lord almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and grant and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Amen. We're going to have a Bible reading, and it is from Psalm 73, and it says this. The Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed in majesty and armed with strength. Indeed, the world is established, firm and secure. Your throne was established long ago. You are from all eternity. The seas have lifted up, Lord. The seas have lifted up their voice. The seas have lifted up their pounding waves. Mightier than the, the thunder of the great seas. Mightier than the breakers of the sea. The Lord on high is mighty. Your statutes, Lord, stand firm. Holiness adorns your house for endless days. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. You know, it's really easy at the moment to um, look at all the things that are happening in the world, both man-made things like wars um obviously we've still got covid around but there's also a lot of um very nature-based things like the um earthquake that's recently happened so they're the sort of things when you think of all those kind of things it's really easy to sometimes think that everything's a bit out of control but this psalm just brings it back to us that actually everything is under the guidance of God. Everything is by him. And as it says in that last verse, holiness adorns your house for endless days. Whatever is going on in the world, God is still with us. That's the important thing for us to remember. And even things like the seas. You know, it says the seas have lifted up their voice. When you hear the crashing of waves, it's really easy to be sort of stirred up by the emotions and sort of the rawness of it. But, you know, nature itself really does praise God. When you see a beautiful flower, you just remember that somebody's been behind the design of that. And it's something that helps me when I look at the state of the world and I think, oh, everything's falling apart just really helps me to remember God is behind this. He's got your back. So let's just hold on to that. We're going to have a time of prayer. <clears throat> and as I say, we have lots of things to pray about. Um, I'm, I'm going to also just, let's just have this, listen to this Bible verse. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, 
because he cares for you. That's from 1 Peter, chapter 5, verse 6 and 7. I'll just read it again. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. So with that thought, let's turn to God in prayer, remembering that he cares for us. And let's start off with praying for the nations of the world. Please do use the comments box to highlight any places you want us to pray for. Um, obviously, we're still going to be praying for Plymouth as well. And please just name any countries you want to bring to our attention. Let's do that now. Either out loud, where you are, or in your heart and mind and soul, just name those places before God. Lord, there are many places that really do need your healing touch, and so we bring them to you. Please, Lord, look kindly on the earth and help the leaders of the countries, those that are called to be rulers, whether that's in a, a majesty-type state or in a democracy. Lord, let all our rulers be honourable to your vision. Help them to lead wisely and to be humble servants of you as well as us. For we ask it in your name. Amen. And I invite you to also pray and name those that you know uh, that are still suffering with COVID for anybody that needs healing from any other illness. And I especially also ask you to think about those that suffer with depression or any mental health issues. Let's just bring them all to God now. Lord, we are your creation and you made us mind, body and spirit. Pray for all those, Lord, that are suffering with long COVID. Pray for all those that are waiting for hospital appointments that have been put back. And pray for anybody that is in pain or in ill health, whether that is in mind, body or spirit. Come to them and comfort them and be the great healer that you are, Lord. And help us to heal. For we ask it in your name. Amen. And I also ask you to think of your communities, especially as we still think about Plymouth. I ask you to pray for those, your neighbours, for those that you know and for those that you don't know. Uh, if you go out to work, please pray for your colleagues. If you don't go out to work, maybe you can pray for the shops in your area. Let's just do that now. Lord, over these last year or so, so many of us have had to be locked away because uh, of lockdown. And... People are still nervous about coming back out on streets. They're still nervous about whether or not to wear masks. Lord, help our communities to heal. Help them, Lord, and help us. Help us to reach out to each other. Help us to be a friendly face, even if we've still got to wear a mask. Help us, Lord, with the words that will be received well. And guide our words, Lord, to each other and our actions so that our communities can heal. For we ask this, Lord, in your name and to your mercy. Amen. And we pray for ourselves. For wherever you are at the moment, whether you're watching this as it goes out, whether you're watching it later, on the bus, wherever you are, 
we pray for ourselves. Merciful God, we entrust to your unfailing and tender care this night, those who are ill or in pain. And knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold us safe, comfort and heal us and restore us to health and strength. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of the night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of the fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And visit this place, Lord, we pray. Drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we join all of our prayers together as we say the Lord's Prayer. And as you might know, I like to say this slowly uh, so that we really take in each phrase. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Well, I hope that you've got something out of this service tonight. Um, if this is your first time here, um, please do contact us so we can keep in contact with you. And this might be the first time you've been really thinking about your faith as well. So please don't hesitate to contact us if you want to talk to somebody about that. If you'd like to support the work of St Thomas, uh, there is a link on our Facebook page and you can also find details of our services now that we're uh, back in church as well. So please do contact us. And if you want a newsletter, let us know. We'll get one sent out to you. All that remains now is for me to say the blessing and to wish you a good night. So this is the blessing. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. And the Lord look kindly upon us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you for being with us. Good night and God bless.